John, long time coming, but yeah. finally the eve of your UFC debut. How does it feel? It feels fantastic, pal. Yeah, it absolutely is. Um, it's just mind blowing, really, right here, right now. And I guess you couldn't have picked a better time and place than, uh, main, well, you know, O2 sold out arena. It's, um, yeah, O2 sold out arena on St. Paddy's Day. Absolutely fantastic. And, you know, how's your mindset going into this fight? As you mentioned earlier, it's been two years since you signed with the UFC. Yeah. A lot of uh, time to think during that time. How are you feeling? I feel absolutely the best physical and mental condition that I've ever been in to date, and it's only going to get better for me. And a great spot on the card, really, for like main event those prelims. Um, a good opportunity to show what you're about. Yeah, I think so, yes. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, I was quite set back, actually, when I realised I was at the top of the prelims. So, yeah, that's, that's an honour. And obviously this fight, you're looking to raise your profile with the UK fans, but what do you want them to leave Saturday night thinking about you? You can't compete with concrete. <laughs> no, I just, you know... The fans that don't know me, the fans that know me know I'll always come and always give 100%. So the fans that don't know me just expect me to get in there and, like I said, try to finish the guy from the second minute to the second I finish. So expect that. And I, I think why I'd like people that don't know me to go away and actually think, oh, my God, this guy's a fucking animal. You know, and that's what I want. I want him to think, yeah, this guy is, you know, he doesn't want to win by, by coasting. This guy's always pushing for the finish. And I think they'll see that in my fighting style with people that don't know me. And hopefully they'll like my fighting style and they'll become a fan. And I guess at the moment with, you know, Michael Bisping on the verge of retirement, yeah. Darren Till on the way up, there's a bit of a gap for a, a you know, UK star to emerge and one you're hoping to fill, I guess. I think I slot in there very nicely. Yeah. And, um, you know, given the, t the absence since your last fight, you know, do you want to be busy after this fight? Yeah, of course. I, I want to be busy anyway. I, I, and I actually believe I perform better when I'm busy. So, um, you know, I've, I've got a four fight deal. I'd like to have them four fights this year if I could, you know. And um, I, I've, I've heard a whisper that there's, there's going to be a show in Dublin in May. I'd like to get a quick finish and be on the card in May in Dublin. Yeah, that's, um, so quite a quick turnaround. Two months maybe, you'd be straight back in there, yeah. assuming no damage? That's the plan. Okay. I mean, without looking past Saturday night, you know, is there anyone in the division you've got your eye on? Anyone, any names you're particularly keen on? Um, no, I'm not. I'm not on no, the call arm after the old roster. I'm, I'm going to work my way up. I want to get as quick as I can into that top 15, into the top 10, and I want to chase the title. And clearly, you know, you, you mentioned the camp earlier. A lot of chat, I guess, in your interviews about who you fight, where you fight out of and who you fight, train with. Uh, looking at the glasses, looking at the, the attire today, have you taken inspiration from your teammates? Yeah, definitely. You know, if, if there's a path to follow, then there's no greater path than corners, is it? Let's be honest. You know, everyone wants to follow his path. So if I can take just a, a little page out of his book and take something on, on from it, yeah, of course. You know, the guy's a legend and actually, you know, <laughs> I'm in the gym and I look at him, I'm still to this day look at him in awe and I think, come on, like, you know, it's probably the, the, one of the best, if not the best combat martial artist talking to me and training with me every day, you know, it's, just, it's, it's unreal. Yeah, a little bit surreal, I imagine. Yeah, yeah it is. It's surreal, bro. And, and as good a fighter as Connor is, I guess he's shown the value in being memorable and being marketable. And I guess that's something you clearly understand as well. Do you know, actually, um, I didn't want to do any interviews coming up to any fight. I didn't want to do any. I wanted to speak. I wanted my fight to speak for me, you know. I wanted to, to people to say, oh, no, you won't do interviews, but when you see him fight, he's a beast. And actually, uh, Connor was like, you've got to do interviews, you know, because people need to get your name out there, you need to showcase, you need to showcase your personality, who you are behind the fight then. And uh, he's right. So the interviews are part of the game, they're important as the fight. So finally, prediction for Saturday night? A KO, KO first round. Good luck with it. Thank you very much.